Good morning, everyone. We are Ariana Sagarra and Daniela Ferreiros, and today we're going to present our topic, Comparative Study of Segregated and Coeducational Primary Education, Analyzing Peruvian Experiences Throughout the Lens of Educational Psychology. The way schools are structured is crucial for students' development. Segregated education separates boys and girls into different classes, while coeducational education has them together. This sparks debate on how it impacts their learning and future development. Some argue that students in segregated schools perform better in math and science, but others believe mixed gender schools promote stronger social and emotional skills by providing uh, equal opportunities. Educational psychology studies how these different approaches affect the students' academic performance and emotional well-being. This research compares perspective on segregated and coeducational education in primary school, aiming to provide useful insights for parents, educators, and decision makers in education. School structure plays a crucial role in implementing different educational approaches like coeducation and segregation, which significantly influences how educational system works. Co-education promotes a mixed gender learning environment to foster inclusivity and equality, aiming to develop social skills and ensure equal opportunities for all students. In contrast, segregated education separates students by gender, aiming to provide a more personalized education tailored to each gender specific needs. The choice between these approaches directly impacts in resource management, class planning, and student support. And it also depends on a lot of factors like educational goals, community beliefs, and institutional policies. Ensuring that the school structure aligns with educational objectives and promotes effective, equitable teaching and learning is essential, along with a lot of evaluation to ensure these approaches remain suitable and effective in achieving evolving educational and social goals. The methodology used to investigate educational experience in segregated and co-educational primary educations in Peru relied on a qualitative approach. This method involved gathering data through descriptions of experience and analyzing perceptions and opinions related to the predominantly social or cultural context. Additionally, a comprehensive comparative analysis was conducted to contrast the information obtained from both approaches. Following Sartori's approach, the comparative method aimed to identify similarities and differences based on the criteria of homogeneity. Semi-structured interviews were chosen as an instrument to gain deeper insights into experts' perspectives on segregated and coeducational education, offering flexibility while maintaining a predefined structure. Interviews were conducted virtually via Zoom lasting no longer than 30 minutes, with participants informed about recording and transcription for analysis facilitation. A data collection focused on three main categories as outlined in the table. In the initial category, data was collected from the interviewees regarding their age, gender, academic background and experience in segregated or co-educational educational settings. Uh, it was observed that 70% of participants were women aged 27 to 36 years old, with the remaining percentage comprising uh, men aged 24 to 28 years old. Notably, the interviews had varying work experience as educational psychologists ranging from 1 to 10 years. Additionally, five of them worked in co-educational institutions, while the other five worked in segregated educations. This diversity enable uh, the gathering of different perspectives and opinions based on their specific experience in these environments, enriching the ability to compare various views and perceptions through their lens as educational psychologists. In the second category of the study, it was aimed to measure but participants' understanding of coeducational and segregated educational environments. Despite lacking formal training in these models, participants practical experience played an important role in shaping their perspectives. Some emphasized the positive aspects of coeducation, highlighting its role in fostering social and emotional skills, 
by enabling interaction between genders. On the other hand, others underscore challenges associated with segregation, noting limitation in socialization due to the absence of interactions between genders. These varied viewpoints provided a nuanced understanding of the complexities and benefits inherent in both educational approaches. In the third category, interviews offer a diverse insight into professionals' perceptions and experiences regarding co-education and gender-segregated settings. Professionals from co-educational settings highlight the nat natural actions between genders, promoting diverse social skills and preferences for the real-world diversity. Contrarily, those from segregated environments emphasize the potential for tailored pedagogy to suit each gender's learning styles. However, challenges like limited perspective, uh, diversity, and the need to address gender stereotypes are acknowledged. Overall, opinions vary based on the individual experience or perspective, underscoring the importance, the importance of context and specific goals when evaluating the effectiveness of each educational approach. Uh, these findings provide a nuanced uh, understanding of professionals' perceptions in the education realm regarding gender-based, co-education, and segregation. The analysis is based on interviews with education professionals in Peru regarding co-educational and segregated education in primary schools. Different perspectives and experience are highlighted along with the benefits and challenges of each model. Segregated environments may offer specialized support and address gender stereotypes, but they can also negatively affect low-income students and lead to discipline issues. Research suggests that single-sex education is not necessarily more effective than mixed-gender education. Professionals in co-educational settings emphasize the importance of gender interaction for social skill development while those in segregated environments highlight personalized learning based on gender. However, there are discrepancies regarding the benefits and limitations of each model. These findings underscore the importance of considering diverse perspectives and context when evaluating educational approaches. The coexistence of benefits and challenges in both models emphasize the need to understand their nuances and tailor them to the specific needs of students. The study gathered evidence on the perspectives of educational psychologists in Peru's education in primary schools. We found a variety of opinions reflecting the complexity of the debate between these models. The choice between co-education and segregation not only affects academic performance, but also social emotional development and gender perceptions. Co-education is seen as inclusive and equitable, promoting social skills, while segregation is associated with a stronger academic performance in specific areas. The need for a balanced approach considering both aspects is very highlighted. Educational psychology is crucial for understanding the impact of school structure on a lot of aspects of students, such as socialization and cognitive development. The Peruvian historical context underscores the importance of constantly evaluating the effectiveness of educational models. The study opens doors to future research on students' experiences in different school environments, contributing to educational dialogue and providing valuable information for decision-making in school management. Thank you.